Young Children Writing Creatively. Hi, parents, teachers, boys and girls. We are back with another writing lesson. Before we get into our writing lesson, we are going to review what we have done. We use a graphic organizer and we wrote our topic sentence. We brainstorm supporting ideas. We use traditional words and we wrote the first draft for our paragraph. Today, we are going to write another paragraph. And in this writing, we will be using the four square graphic organizer. We will use transitional words. We will use um, figurative language for the first time and we will write our first draft for our paragraph. Here is our graphic organizer. As you know, we write our topic sentence in the center. Can you tell me what is a topic sentence? Yes, a topic sentence is a group of words that expresses a complete thought. Remember, a sentence begins with a capital letter and ends with a punctuation mark. It has a subject as well as a predicate. Now around that center square are four other squares. And in those squares, we are going to write our supporting ideas. Our supporting ideas will support our topic sentence. We use three types of sentences. We use the exclamatory sentence, which ex expresses strong feeling, and it ends with an exclamation mark. We use the interrogative sentence that asks us a question and ends with a question mark. We use the declarative sentence that tells something and ends in a period. Now, our writing today is going to be about our favorite fruit. And we are going to use the interrogative sentence. Now notice that the interrogative sentence ends with a question mark. Here is the sentence I am going to write. Do you have a favorite fruit? Now think about your favorite fruit. Also, think about the supporting details that you will like to write about your favorite fruit. Now let's look in our second square. Our, or my favorite fruit is the mango. And I say that it has skin that is red and yellow, and it has an oval shape. I am going to also write that it is delicious. It melts in the mouth. I am also going to brainstorm some other ideas about my favorite fruit. And I'm going to say it is a summer dessert and make a drink. Now, as we said in the previous lessons, in our last square, we do not add any new information there. We summarize what we have already written. Now, our figurative language. Now, can anybody remember what is a figurative language? 
Yes, correct. You are on point. Vergative language are that those language that makes your writing more colorful. Remember, it has two words, either alike or as. And it compare two things. Now, let's look at the first figurative language that we will write. Yellow like the sun. The next figurative language we will write is sweet like sugar. Now, in this square, we did not write a figurative language. Be careful with them. When you write too many, they overload the writing. Let's just choose one or two, okay? And our last square, remember, we do not add any new information. Now, we have to use our transitional words. Now, do you remember what transitional words are and the purpose for them? Yes, transitional words help to make our writing flow smoothly. Okay, let's look to see what transitional words were used. The first one is to begin. The second one is next. The third one is also. And the fourth one is now you see. Now, before we go and write our paragraph, let's recap. Remember, we write our topic sentence. Then, we write supporting detail sentences. We use figurative language and we use transitional words. Do you have all of those in your writing? Now, if you said yes, we can begin writing. Let's look at our paragraph. Here it reads, do you have a favorite fruit? I do. To begin, my favorite fruit is mango. Mangoes have an oval shape. The skin is yellow like the sun with some red. Next, it is a delicious fruit. When you eat it, it is sweet like sugar and it melts in your mouth. Also, it is a great summer dessert to eat and you can make it as a drink. Now you see, mango is a delicious fruit and a great summer dessert. Now, how was your writing? Did you add everything? Did you add your punctuation mark? Did you put your transitionals in? Did you include your figurative language? What I would like to remind parents, teachers, as well as boys and girls, when we begin writing, it is good to have a chart. And on that chart, you can include a list of figurative language a list of transitional words, a list of adjectives, as well as a list of verbs, particularly verbs in the past. This is the end of our third writing. You've been such a wonderful partner. Boys and girls, you did well. See you next time.